My name is Holly, and I have a degree in Biblical Studies from Liberty University, and I would like to read from the Bible to you about where God commands Moses how to give abortions. Ready? We're going to start in the book of Numbers, chapter 5, verse 11. Then the Lord says to Moses, speak to the Israelites and say to them, if a man's wife goes astray and is unfaithful to him, so that another man has sexual relationships with her, and this is hidden from her husband and her impurity is undetected, because there's no witnesses against her and she's not been called the act. And if feelings of jealousy come over her husband and he suspects that his wife is impure, or if he's jealous and suspects her even though she's not impure, then he is to take his wife to the priest. So then they talk about bringing an offering for jealousy. And in 16, it says, the priest shall bring her and have her stand before the Lord. Then he shall take some holy water in a clay jar and put some dust from the tabernacle floor into the water. After the priest has had the woman stand before the Lord, she shall loosen her hair and place it in her hands. And the reminder offering, the jealousy offering, uh, while he himself holds the bitter waters that bring a curse. Then the priest shall put the woman under oath and say to her, if no other man has had sexual relationships with you and you have not gone astray and become impure while married to your husband, may this bitter water that brings a curse not harm you. But if you have gone astray while married to your husband and you have made yourself impure by having sexual relationships with a man other than your husband, here the priest is to put the woman under this curse. May the Lord cause you to become a curse among your people when he, he makes your womb miscarry and your abdomen swell. May this water that brings a curse into your body so that your abdomen swells or your womb miscarries. Number one, this sounds like a crazy witch hunt. But number two, God himself told Moses to give abortions. So before we go judging people and calling them murderers, just remember, this was God's idea.